Hello everyone, it's Chloe from Chloe's Creative Cards. Hopefully we should be live now, fingers crossed. Just had a few problems where for some reason my phone wouldn't flip the image around. So I'm having to kind of film in portrait mode, which is a little bit different, but never mind. Please leave me some comments on the screen. Let me know that you can see me and that you know that we are live. Um, if you can just send me some comments, send me some likes, let me know you're watching. That would be great. And then I know that we're all up and running and working perfectly hopefully fingers crossed okay then so i'm sure you were all here for the box kit six preview to see exactly what you are going to get in the box kit there is so so much contained within that i'm just going to give you a few minutes to build because i know i am a little bit um a little bit late coming on facebook live tonight but never mind at least i'm here now we did have a few little kind of technical difficulties for some reason Normally I film the, the Facebook lives the other way on my phone, but it just wouldn't let me today. And I don't, I'm not sure why. If anyone can answer my question, please do in the comments below and let me know because I would be very intrigued. Because normally I just turn my phone around and it just does it, but it's just not playing ball today. So I'm going to see if I can get the live feed up on my phone, on my iPad. And then hopefully I can read your comments and kind of answer as we go. That is the plan anyway so let me just scroll down are you all loving the new website as well because we have got so so much on there um so let me just have a quick look see if we can see some comments right here we go hello to sue hello to heidi hello emma hello wendy yes people can see me that is awesome okay thank you so so much for all of your comments Okay, I'm going to give you a few, oh my word, there are so many of you online watching this video, that is absolutely crazy. Okay, thank you so, so much. We've had such a busy couple of weeks over at Chloe HQ. We've had lots and lots going on. Um, so we've had the new website launch. There's been all sorts going on in the in the background, behind the scenes. I'm just going to turn this down because um, it's going to distract me if I can hear my own voice. So... Tonight is the night that we have the Box Kit 6 preview. Now, I know that you have all been pre-ordering this today because we have been phenomenally busy for this. I think this has been the busiest pre-order that we have ever done. It has been absolutely unbelievable. So, this is the brand new Box Kit. And have you noticed all of the new branding on here, all of the new logo, which is amazing. There is so, so much jam-packed within this kit. So I'm going to give you a little look at the box first. So we've gone for the gorgeous raspberry pink, the new corporate colours on the um, on the front page here. So we've got the beautiful raspberry pink and we've got a little sneak peek of what you were getting inside. So you're getting a beautiful die. You are getting a gorgeous stamp plate. You are also getting an embossing folder. You are getting a stencil. You are, of course, getting some beautiful papers in there. And if you love the papers, you're going to love what else we've got coming for you. And you've got a little bit of inspiration on the front there too. And more inspiration on the back as well. I'm just going to have a quick little drink out of my cup of tea here. Because um, I can feel my voice is going to go already. I don't feel like I should be trusted with a cup of tea. I need all of these beautiful cards to be honest. So I'll put it out there. I'll put it over there out the way. Okay then. So are we going to open the box up? I think we should. I could do with some scissors because I haven't kind of unsealed this one but we'll just kind of we'll just get in there and rip it open i think so this is the issue six box which is the first stamps by chloe box kit that has come out this year first one for 2020 how exciting is that so i've got loads of projects to show you i've got loads more um products as well i've got loads of finished samples so it's going to be quite like a full-on facebook live but hopefully stay with me and you'll see exactly what we've got so Within your box kit, you are getting this fabulous magazine. And what we've done this time is we've put the papers in the middle of the magazine so it's all kept nicely together. And really, for when this was in the supermarket, it just helps it to keep the papers a little bit flatter because we're finding the papers were sliding out. So it works so, so much better just having the papers in there. Okay, so we've got the beautiful box kit magazine here. And then if we just have a quick little look inside, you can see some of the projects that we've got in there. 
it is just absolutely fabulous it's jam-packed with inspiration you've got 150 projects hints and tips for all different occasions we've got projects in there from glynis and um, i've done some projects barbara becker and ruth have done some projects as well and um, there is just so so much jam-packed in so we've got kind of a bee and a floral theme with this one which is really cool so we've got some inky projects we've got some um kind of fussy cutting projects we've got some stamping projects in there there is all sorts so that is, first of all, your magazine with the beautiful papers inside as well. Then this, this is what we all buy the box kit for, isn't it? It's all the extra little bits and pieces that you are getting within the box kit that make this so fabulous. So you are then getting a fabulous die set. So this is beautiful. This is um, the flower power die. So you've got the large flower, the small flower, and you've got the little bee. The bee is so cute. I love the bee. Um, this flower die cuts out but stays in the card. So you'll see that in the finished samples. What you can do is you can die, you can die cut this out, but then you can lift all of the, um, the little petals and it gives you a fabulous 3D effect. So that is your die set, which is a fabulous. The next part that we have got is this a beautiful a6 embossing folder and this embossing folder is gorgeous you've got that lovely floral design on the front there and then you've got all of the little dots in the background and you've got the leaves in the corner as well so this is going to be awesome for inking it's going to be awesome for using with your gilding waxes it's going to be fabulous for paper piecing as well but again what we do in the box kit magazine is we always take each element of the box kit so for example the die the embossing folder and then we break it down so we are going to show you exactly how to use this embossing folder we are going to hold your hand and talk you through different ways that you're going to be able to use this then we've got this which i absolutely adore i'm going to bring it in a bit closer so this is um a fabulous honeycomb stencil but it's uh, when we when we did a honeycomb i didn't want like a chunky honeycomb do you know what i mean i wanted like a finer honeycomb so this is beautiful it's fabulous for inking through a little bit of plastic left on that one there fabulous for inking through fabulous for popping your texture paste through and um, for running through your die cutting machine as well with your rubber embossing mat it just works perfectly and it's going to create stunning backgrounds every single time for all of your projects then the next thing that you are getting in this awesome box kit is the stamp place now i should have should have thought about this, should have got a piece of paper to put behind because wearing a black jumper with the stamps was probably not the best idea. So you've got flower images in here, you've got foliage, you've got little bees, you've got sentiments, you've got swirls, you've got that lovely honeycomb design that you can be building up as well. So you've got lots and lots of different elements contained within the 6 by 6 stamp plate as well. So let's just have a quick recap. Within your box kit, you are getting the fabulous 6 by 6 stamp plate. So you've got the beautiful florals in here, you've got the bees, you've got the leaves, you've got the sentiments. This will all start to come to life as well when I show you some of the finished sample samples so you've got the stamp plate you've then got the fabulous six by six stencil which is just a beautiful but so versatile as well because you could be using this on men's cards you could be using this at christmas you really can use this one all year round then the next thing that you are getting is the fabulous a6 embossing folder with that beautiful floral design there then you are getting the die with the um with the little petals that lift up and the little base you've got three dies in that set then you are getting the fabulous magazine that is jam-packed with ideas inspiration there's a sneak peek at some of the new releases in there you've got all of those beautiful papers in the middle too it's really hard to show you actually on, on this camera i'm trying my best if you hop onto the website chloe'screativecards.co.uk you'll be able to see the product images it'll probably break it down a little bit better than i am for you tonight so you can see how we've got all of this in here and it is just jam-packed full so this officially goes on sale on the 19th of march which is when i'll be on creating craft and it'll also be in the supermarkets then too so for your box kit for all of that it is normally 12.99 that is the rrp but as an extra bonus and we always do this with every single box kit release and this is always the bundle that everyone goes for we always offer an extra limited edition stamp and this time it is beautiful it's something a little bit different for us it's this gorgeous bees and honeycomb stamp but check out the new packaging as well it's all in the new packaging which is so exciting so you've got the fabulous bees and honeycomb you've got the beautiful honeycomb background stamp there with the little bees over the top you've got the little honeycomb you've got the with love you've got the frame and you've got the birthday wishes and if i just flip that round you can see this is this is a really big stamp this is like an a6 stamp plate and you have got one two three four five different images on there which is fabulous 
and we offer that to you with the box kit for an extra two pound so you can get your limited edition stamp along with the die along with the embossing folder along with the stencil along with the six by six stamp plate and the magazine with all the papers for 14 99 which is fabulous value. And that stamp is only ever available from us directly at Chloe's Creative Cards or on Create and Craft as well. So that is the box kit. But I know what you're all here for. You want to see what you can be making with your box kit. And I've got so many finished samples to show you. I'm just going to move some of these out of the way. I'm going to pop those ones down there. I'm going to bring some, some in because there are just so, so many. So um, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you this one that Glynis did first because this is one of the box kit magazine, magazine projects and I just think it's stunning. So she's done some shaped cards and look at this easel card. Isn't it just fabulous? So you can see how she's used the stamps from the, from the box kit here and she's cut out some of the flowers. She's added the foliage in the background. She's used a sentiment on the bottom and you can just see how beautiful that then all looks. And it's kind of like this twisted easel design which just looks gorgeous. But then changing it up completely, you can be taking that fabulous corner stamp and you can be building that up to create frames. You can be decoupaging the flowers. You can be using the honeycomb in the centre as well. You can be adding the little bees on there as embellishments. It just looks fabulous. And then this one here using the die set. And you can see how those dies lift and pop out of the card. Look at the dimension that you've got on these projects. They are absolutely gorgeous, but so, so easy to do yourself at home. And that's actually using the corner stamp on there. I think I've, I've picked up a pile of Glynis cards here. They're all fabulous. So this one here is another one of Glynis's. And she's used those beautiful flowers down the side there. She's used the stencil in the background. And you can see how she's lined the stencil up as well. So you can do a larger background with these two. Then this is gorgeous, using those little buzzy bees in the background. I think they are so, so cute to add on to projects as well. Really, really pretty, but you can see how that all works perfectly together. Let me have a little mooch about, see what else I can find. Let me just have a quick look. Oh my word, these are fabulous as well. So we've got kind of some quicker and easier makes as well in the Box Kit magazine, which we always like to do because we always get some newer crafters joining us. So we've got like some more masculine type cards, some smaller projects as well. Quick and easy projects that you can just be making with the papers and with the little bees. But I absolutely love these as well because I thought this was a little bit different. So we've got a full on wedding stationery set, which is gorgeous. So this has been done using the stamps, but you can see how by colouring these in, you can give them a totally different look. And using your vellum with your embossing folder there as well. Using your little die to make the place card. How cute is that? So you can see how it all works perfectly together. And this is all being designed to coordinate. Let me grab in some other projects from over here. So I've done some little quick and easy projects as well. Just using some of the toppers. So using the little wreath there and building the flowers up. Then using the bees and the honeycomb, which is a lovely, lovely design. You can see how you can really build those up and they look fabulous. Using the flowers there as well. You can see by inking that stencil in the background, how fabulous does that look? You're going to be able to create your own beautiful backgrounds at home so, so easily. For your shaped cards as well, these are awesome. So this is just a little, um, like a little circular card that I've made. And I've used the topper actually in the middle there. Then this one's using this stamp. And this is so crisp and clean, but so easy to do. So all I've done is stamp the corner in each um, of the corners there onto some white card. Then I've glittered the leaves with some grasshopper glitter. And I've added the little flowers on the top that I've stamped and embossed in white embossing powder. And you can just see how well that all works together as well. It's all tying in absolutely beautifully um let me have a little hunt through oh these seem to be my projects here so we've got some ones as well with some of the new stamps that are coming up some of those are included in the box kit but you can see how all the stamp designs mix and match perfectly together if you want to be creating your own panels with the stamps that you are getting in the box kit this is going to be perfect for you if you want to be building up your little wreath designs like this of course you can be doing that the embossing folder is absolutely stunning just by inking it and then adding and um, building the paper up on the top you can see how fabulous that looks and then the little bees the little bees are so so cute you can see on this card here how i've just used the bees in the background and the honeycomb then used a happy birthday on there using these to create your shaped cards as well down the edge they look absolutely fabulous the little bees i'm just gonna the little wings have got a bit squashed on this card i'm gonna just lift the wings there we go 
Oh, it's so cute, the little bee. So you can just see how fabulous this then looks by using the papers, by using the stamps. Everything coordinates perfectly together. And then this one, I'm grateful making this card. This was just like one of those little cards that you make when you've got little bits and pieces left over. But it just kind of all came together and worked perfectly. So all I've done is stamp the bee three times. Then I've stamped it again and cut it out. And can you see the acetate on the wings? How cool is that? So it's like it's flying across the card. Just looks fab. So that's that one. Um, let me have a little root for some more finished samples here too. Oh, these are fabulous. Let me grab these ones. So using the die, look at the die. It is absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to lift this up so you get the full effect. Just bear with me a moment here. Look at that. Look at how that lifts and pops off the page. It looks gorgeous. Then by using the die across the middle as well, these are perfect for colouring in with your pens or with your pearl um, paints as well. I love using pearl paints. I've used these on so many other projects. Do you like the little um, Cosmic Shimmer palettes that you get? They work so, so well with these. Some nice and crisp, clean cards as well. If you maybe like a more clean and simple style of card making, this kit is going to be perfect for you. Or if you really want to vamp it up and do loads more with this, of course you can do as well. This is a really cute little card as well that Nikki's made. I love this one. So she's actually made it like a honeycomb shape, which is so cool. So using your dies with that one. Introducing some watercolours as well to the stamp designs, of course, that works so, so well too. And I'm going to grab this one, and this is a Glynis card over here. Look at this. Like, if you want to take this to the, ne the next level, of course, you can be doing that as well. Look at this shaped easel card. So what Glynis has done is she's used the circle dies and then she's kind of um created an easel card she's used our flower burst stencil in the background which i know is out of stock at the moment but it will be coming back in and then she's used the beautiful flowers from the box kit and some of the foliage as well and she's really gone to town with the glitter and the bullying on here but you can just see that works so so well together so that's another project we've also got i can't show i'm gonna lift these in because they're fabulous i've kind of built a little setup around me and you can't see everything um we've got some off the page projects as well that mel jess has done these are absolutely fabulous this is like a little storage box to put your crafty goodies in how awesome is that and um, we've even got like some little um letter projects and things like that which is gorgeous and i love this one as well for mother's day i thought this would be fab like a little gift box that you could then put chocolates in or, or cake maybe it's like chocolate or cake i'm not too fussy either or would be great but that would just be absolutely gorgeous wouldn't it so you can do so so much actually i'm just reading on the back here she sized these to fit the sparklicious glitters in how cool is that so you could be using this as your sparklicious glitter storage box or you could even gift a set, which would be even nicer, wouldn't it? That would be fabulous. What an amazing crafty gift to receive. And um, we've got even more projects in this one. Like, honestly, there is so, so much jam-packed within this magazine that you are going to be able to do so many amazing things. We've got some more kind of inky projects and mixed media projects in there as well. We've got some really cool little shaped cards as well. I'm going to grab this, in, this one in. So you can see, creating like your little stepper cards there too. This is going to be absolutely perfect for. So everything works perfectly together. You've even got some fashion projects in there as well. So there is loads and loads of ideas and inspiration. I'm going to have a quick little tidy up. Um, let me know in the comments which ones you are loving. And I'm going to try and have a little read on my iPad to see if I can um, answer any of your questions as well. I'll just pick that one up there. I've got, honestly, I've got so many cards to show you. I've kind of just kind of gathered them all together. I'm going to put all these ones in the corner. Oh, there's a couple more here. I need to show these. I'm going to show them because I've got them all out, so I might as well show them. So we've got this one here as well. That's an easel card from Glynis. Look at that one. I love that in the honeycomb shape as well. I just know it so, so well. And then using your distress oxides, it look like, looks like in the background here too. And of course, they blend like butter, don't they? They are just so, so lovely inks. And for your gatefold cards as well, this would be fabulous. So you can see that there. For these kind of shaped cards too. This one, oh, this always confuses me. It goes like this, I think. Yes, that's it. 
the sentiment locks in there and then that holds your card up which just it's just fabulous it's like a card within a card isn't it so that's fabulous too so there is so so much but all of these little techniques all these different folds that you're then going to be able to transfer onto other projects as well are all included within your, um, your box kit so you're going to learn the techniques in here as well and you can get all the little top tips all the little ways to make your, your projects look even more professional it is just such a fantastic collection if you're starting crafting as well i always think a box kit's a good place to start because we've done all of the hard work by coordinating everything for you and kind of pulling everything together so it just makes the crafting so fun when you get it all home too right so i've had a little reshuffle of the cards there but what i want to show you is I want to show you this one as well because this is a card that Glynis has made and this is using some of the stamps and dies that we've got coming up as well but look at this fabulous honeycomb stamp and that is the extra limited edition stamp that you can only get from Chloe's Creative Cards or Create and Craft but it is such a gorgeous image you can see you've got a beautiful honeycomb on there imagine colouring that in and shading it with your pens or with your pencils or with your um, glitters as well of course it's going to work perfectly but you've got all the bees there too it is just absolutely gorgeous. I just love this box kit. I've had so much fun. And I think stepping into spring as well, we've kind of done all the Christmas projects. It's nice to start something different, isn't it? So for anyone just joining me that's maybe missed the start of the video, I'll give you a quick recap of the box kit and what you were getting in it. Um, and then I'm going to show you all of the additional items as well, because we know how much you love the box kits. So we always like to bring you some extra goodies too so you are getting the fabulous magazine to start with you've got 151 um, different ideas in here hints and tips showing you how to use the kit you've also got a sneak peek at some new products coming from us and you've got some of the fashion projects in there as well if you treated yourself to that range in august uh, in august where am i at in january Whew. The year's flying by too fast, isn't it? And then we've got the beautiful papers as well and toppers that are in the middle of the magazine. Now, again, um, if you hop onto the website, chloescreativecards.co.uk, you'll be able to see a little bit better what the papers are like. I'm trying to show you, but it's really hard on this camera. What you then get in your box kit is your fabulous flower power die set that cuts out but stays in the card. So you're going to be able to create beautiful 3D flowers with this one. Then you've got this fabulous A6 embossing folder, which is amazing. You could be embossing vellum with this. You could be embossing your patterned papers, sanding it back. You could emboss um, mirror card with this as well. My voice is going, I'm so excited. <laughs> um, there is so much that you can be doing with this embossing folder. It is absolutely gorgeous. Then the next item that you are getting is this fabulous 6x6 honeycomb stencil, which is amazing. You can pop your paste through this. You can use it with your rubber mat through your die cutting machine. You can also be using this um, with your ink pads as well. It looks fabulous as an inked background. Then the next thing that you are getting is this fabulous 6x6 stamp plate. So you've got all of the different flowers in there. You've got the foliage, you've got the little bees as well, and you've got the sentiment. So that's another, that's included in your box kit. So that is what you get in the box kit for $12.99. So that is on pre-order with us today. Or you can pick it up in your supermarkets and from other retailers on the 19th of March. Now, as an extra little bonus, what we always like to do is if you buy directly from us or through Create and Craft, we always like to offer you an extra exclusive bonus stamp that you can add onto your box kit. So this is the extra limited edition stamp that we are offering this time. So for an extra £2 for your box kit and this stamp is £14.99, you can get this fabulous Bees and Honeycomb limited edition stamp this stamp will not be sold by its own it will only ever be available with the box kit and we do one one run of all of this and once it's gone it's gone we don't reprint the box kit and we don't remake this stamp so within here it's an a6 stamp plate you've got the beautiful bees and honeycomb you've got the with love sentiment you've got the honeycomb you've got a little frame and you've got the best i think it's birthday wishes as well in here so it's a beautiful beautiful stamp set so that is your box kit i'm gonna have a little read through of your comments just to see what you were all saying hello everyone thank you so so much i'm so pleased that you are um loving all of the all of the box kit it's fabulous betty says i've even got glitter on my eyebrows i'm not surprised or oh, tracy says it's lovely and fresh fresh which it is and says i've got a new chair yes i have got a new chair i have i've treated myself 
Karen's asking, do you have any yellow sparkle glitter to go with the bees? Well, just stay tuned, Karen, because that's coming very soon. Joe's going to be making lots and lots of lovely yellow cards, which will be fabulous. How amazing will that be for spring? Thank you so much. Connie is asking, will you be on Create and Craft in the USA? Yes, this show is going to be broadcast to the US. So if you have a look on um, the Facebook page, all the show times are on there. They're a little bit different this time. So from memory, I think they are quarter past eight in the morning, quarter past 11, half past four and quarter past eight. But just double check that because they're the new 45 minute slot. So I'm not 100% sure. And um, thank you so much. Lynn's asking, no, that's it's not a new ring. The camera just flips everything round. It's not it's not a ring. <laughs> um, thank you so much for all of your comments. I'm so pleased that you are loving it and you're loving the bees as well. Because it's a little bit different as well. Um having the bees in there. It's a little bit of a step away to the normal pinks and things. Uh, pinks and purples and things. Thank you so so much for all of your comments. That is fabulous. I'm trying to quickly read through these. Oh, Glynis is watching as well. Hello, Glynis. Oh, thank you so much. What lovely comments you're all leaving. Okay, then. So, are we ready for this? Because we have got even more to go with the... How does the extra die and stamp coordinate with the box kit magazine please so sue's asking how does the extra stamp and die coordinate with the box kit and magazine so you've got same, you've got the same design so it was all designed at the same time to work perfectly together so that's how it all coordinates okay and he's asking how can i order a box set please and you can hop on over to chloe's creative cards.co.uk if you have a look on the page i'm sure the link's up there um, and you can pre-order your box kit today so it's for delivery from the 19th of march okay then so we know that you love your box kits when you get them home and for so many issues so many of you have asked for us to produce an additional die set to go with it this is the new die set so this is going to cut out perfectly your stamps that you've got within the box kit so it cuts out i think it's pretty much everything apart from the sentiments and the honeycombs so you've got the dies that fully cut out the flowers that fully cut out the corner the swirls the foliage the bees so basically it's going to make crafting an absolute breeze so you can see you've got the dies there they all come on a magnetic sheet as well and that makes it so so easy to start and they're all on the fabulous new pink chloe packaging as well which is amazing isn't it so we've got the the different designs in here and this is going to make crafting so much easier for you because you're going to be able to stamp your images pop your dye on run them through the machine and forget about it because it's so so easy then and of course you can be using these to color in as well once you've die cut your images they are fabulous so they are the brand new dies okay now we were kind of predicting that you were going to go crazy for the papers with this box kit so we kind of thought about it and yes we are, we do we do offer the download so you can still download and print them yourself but i don't know about you at home i sometimes find it a little bit expensive when you buy the nice paper and when you um buy like the inks for your your printer and things so what we've done is we've produced this fabulous eight by eight paper pad firstly it smells amazing like these came into the office and we were just kind of sniffing them because they just smelled so nice <laughs> Do you know whether anyone else does that with paper pads? I think it's a completely normal thing to do. So we've got the fabulous 8x8 paper pad here. So you've got all of the designs of the papers that you are getting in the box kit and they're all printed onto fabulous 160 GSM quality paper. It is such beautiful paper and these just tear out the pads so easily as well. They're all double sided. So you've got your pattern on one side and then you've got your plane on the other as well. And what we've done is popped all these in. So you've got your planes for your mats and layers and you've got your patterns in there. And what you've also got is you've got some watercolor washers and then we put these polka dots in because they just work so, so well. So this is gonna work perfectly with your box kit. You get 48, oh, there we go. There we go, that's how we show you these papers. You get 48, eight by eight sheets within the pad. And this is just 9 99 to add on to your box kit. It is absolutely fabulous. It's such a beautiful paper pad. You've got all the watercolour washers in there as well. And then you've got sheets of toppers. So you've got sentiments, tags, you've got extra little bees in there that you can be cutting out. And you've got more of those beautiful floral wreaths in there as well. So you get 16 designs and you get three sheets of each in there. So that is a beautiful paper pad and it is absolutely gorgeous. When you feel this, it just feels so luxurious. And the papers are so nice to use. They take ink so well. You can be embossing onto them as well, cutting them out. They look absolutely gorgeous. 
Um, thank you so much for your comments. I'm so pleased that everyone is loving it. Wendy totally agrees. It's, it's a normal thing to sniff paper pads. I totally agree with you, Wendy. I think it is too. So that's the paper pad. So what we've got on pre-order at the moment, this is what I should be explaining really, but I'm getting really excited and carried away. So we have got the paper pad, we've got the dies, we've got the box kit as well. And what you can also pre-order now are the fabulous new wow powders. So we always do a, um, a wow powder set to coordinate with the box kit. And these are limited edition runs. So once these wow powders sell out, we won't be remaking them again. There will not be another run. We do one production run of these and once they're gone, they're gone. So what we do is take the colours from the paper pad and we tie the embossing powders in absolutely perfectly. So they all um, they all work perfectly together. So we've got two collections here. Unfortunately, I've left my little boards at work, so I'm just going to have to show you the colours in the pots. So the first one we've got is Spiced Pumpkin Sparkle, which is a gorgeous orange with golden glitter in there. And then we've got Candy Pink Sparkle, which is a beautiful um, pale pink with like um, different coloured sparkles in there. That one is gorgeous. And then we have got a Lagoon Breeze Sparkle, which is a lovely kind of teal blue with loads of sparkle in there as well. And then we've got Sunkissed Days Sparkle, which is like a yellowy gold. Really, really pretty. Absolutely gorgeous with the sunflower designs in here. And then this one is a Purple Cosmo Sparkle which is a beautiful rich purple and we added that in just give you a little bit of variety because we know you're going to make those flowers in different colours so we thought we might as well pop it in there and then we've got spiced honey sparkle as well which is a bit I was going to take the lid off then but I think that's a dangerous move um, and a lovely kind of golden honey colour which is beautiful and these are all made by wow for us in the UK they are completely exclusive to the Stouts by Chloe range so you are not going to find these colours anywhere else we have literally had these colours made and we have bought the entire batch of these because we love them so much so we've got the beautiful embossing glitters there but what we were finding is a lot of you are asking for plain powders as well so the sparkle is great but sometimes you don't want that much bling on your project so you want something a little bit plainer so then you can go in with your sparkles and glitters on the top so what we've done is we've taken the colours and we've made them in plain powders as well so when you heat these they're going to come to a high gloss sheen so we've got purple cosmos we have got pumpkin spice we have got spiced honey. Can you can you sense a theme here? Yeah, bees honey. You can see where we were going with this one. Candy pink, which is that gorgeous bright pink. And we have got sunkissed days, which is this lovely pale yellow. And we have got lagoon breeze. So these colours are going to coordinate perfectly. And sometimes the planes are really nice for if you want to stamp an outline and glitter it in, or if you want to stamp a sentiment as well, because they pick up all of the detail. So the planes are fabulous for that as well. So those are the two embossing powder sets as well. So on pre-order, we've got the two sets of embossing powders. We've got the fabulous set of dies. We've got the gorgeous pa the paper pad. The paper pad is amazing. I love the paper pad so much. And we've got the box kit with the limited edition stamp as well. So that's all that we've got on pre-order at the moment, okay? But there is more to come. So not only do we have to bring you, obviously, we have to bring you fabulous wow powders because we love them so much, but we also wanted to bring you some extra special sparklicious glitters because we know how much you all love your sparkle and love your glitter. So we have got four brand new colours. Now these won't be available to order until the 19th of March. So I'm giving you a little sneaky preview of the next range of goodies today. So we've got this gorgeous colour here. This one is called Crystal Twinkle. And don't worry, we've got videos going up on the page over the next few days to show you the colours. And if you haven't visited our awesome new website yet, chloescreativecards.co.uk, you need to hop over and have a look at the Sparklicious Glitter pages because so many of you asked for this. So basically now when you click on the glitter, you get the product image, you get a little image of the swatch, so like a little collection of the glitter, and then you get a video. And so it shows you all the sparkle, all the bling, exactly what the glitter's like. So we've got this gorgeous colour here that's called Crystal Twinkle. So this is like, it's like a pinky, pinky green kind of tinge to it. Really, really pretty. It's going to show the colour from underneath as well. It's going to look different on different colours of card. Then lots of you are asking for yellow. We have got yellow. This is Lemon Sherbet. 
and you can see hopefully that's a lovely bright yellow color it is absolutely stunning it's a slightly chunky glitter as well so that's going to be awesome for the centers of your flowers too and then the next one is a uh, purple galaxy <gasps> look at that look at the sparkle in that you've got all of those holographic flakes in there they are absolutely beautiful so that's your purple galaxy and then we've got tutti frutti which is like an orangey red pinky kind of color with an iridescence I feel I haven't described that very well but it is absolutely gorgeous and it's got um it's quite a chunky one it's got lots of different colors in there it is fabulous so those are the four brand new sparklicious glitters and these will be available from the 19th of march so we've got lots of new goodies coming there thank you so much for your comments um sue is asking are the embossing powders available in singles or just the full set yes you can pre-order the singles now they're all on there Jawberry is asking, is the paper pad filed? No, it's not. This one's just printed. So it's fabulous for all of your inking, for um, your stamping techniques as well. It is absolutely gorgeous. Patricia is asking, how much are the dies, please? I do believe the dies are £24.99 from memory. But if you hop over at the website, chloecreativecards.co.uk, you will be able to see the prices on there. Um, thank you so much for your comments. Gail's loving the plain ones as well. Yes, they are definitely better for words. Okay then. So I'm going to show you even more now. We've got, we've got even more newness to come. So you know we love stencils, right? And we we have we've just started doing these. When did we do our first range of stencils? I think it was July last year, and everyone loved them. So this range to me was just crying out for some brand new stencils. So we've got three brand new designs. We've got the Petite Poker, which is this one here. And honestly, when I show you this on the finished project, it's going to blow your mind. It is just, it is amazing. I'm going to try and find a card now. Let me try and grab one. I've got, I'm, I'm literally like just surrounded by cards. But look at this. <gasps> when it translates onto a card, using it with your texture paste and your sparkle is glitter over the top how amazing does that look so that's your petite poker design the next design that we have is the sunflower frenzy so this is lots of large sunflowers all over the background there you can see how beautiful that then is and if i translate that onto a card for you let me grab another card let me just have a little look through the box here I am going to show you these in a moment by the way i'm not just teasing everyone you can see that one in the background on there and then I had one pulled out for that that was teal. I've lost it somewhere. I'm sure I'll find it. And then the next stencil design that we've got are the Busy Bees. And these are gorgeous. So this is going to coordinate and match them with your box kit perfectly. These are all 8x8 eight eight in size as well. But they've been scaled so that you can be using them on a 6x6 six six card. You can be using them on an 8x8 eight eight card. And they're going to work perfectly. And you can see those little bees in the background. How cute they look with your texture paste and your sparkle glitter on the top. So those are the three new stencils. Again, they will be launching on the 19th of March. I had to remember the date then. <laughs> the 19th of March. Not only will we be bringing new stencils, we'll also be bringing new stamps as well. And have you noticed the new packaging? Ross has worked so, so hard on all of the rebrand with the new logo, all of the new colours, and of course the fabulous new packaging. And when you see what we've got coming over the next couple of months as well, you'll understand what we've been working on in the background. It is absolutely phenomenal. We've got some amazing things coming. So this is just the start. So we've got the beautiful um, A5 Snowflake Wreath stamp set here here as well which it, it, did I say snowflake I meant sunflower wreath which features that beautiful large image that you've then got the bees on there you've got the bee that you can be layering up as well you've got the happy birthday you've got the little honeycomb you've got the sentiment you've got the trails on there too and you've got um a little bit of inspiration on the front as well which is fabulous the next one is this gorgeous um, large sunflower. So this is taken from the floral design in the box kit. So you've got a beautiful large flower stamp. You've got the little trail of flowers and you've got the, the banner and you've got the little sentiments that fit in the middle of there as well. And again, you've got inspiration on the front of the packaging, which is fabulous. Pam is asking me, Create and Craft USA, what time? I'm not sure. You'll have to have a look on the website, Create and Craft um, USA website, and have a look at the times on there. I'm not sure 
sure what times they'll be going out the next one that we've got is the beautiful sunflower panel again a really nice large image this is an a6 stamp so this is going to be perfect for stamping and embossing glittering stamping the flowers on your patterned papers building them up and again you've got inspiration on the front of the packaging as well so this all works so so well together so those are the three brand new stamps so again these will all be launching on the 19th of march okay i feel i need to show you some inspiration so I'm literally surrounded by cards. Thank you so much for all of your comments. Um, they're, honestly, I can't believe it. So, so many of you joining me and so, so many watching. Thank you so, so much. I'm so pleased that you are loving the stencils as well. Uh, Bobby's asking, would you consider doing a monthly kit by subscription? This is something that we've talked about and something that we kind of, we would love to do, but we are, we are just a small company. So for us, managing a monthly subscription um probably wouldn't be possible right now but in the future who knows i would absolutely love to deliver inspiration through your door every single month that would be fabulous but maybe we could look to do it quarterly or bi-monthly or something like that i'm sure we could um come up with something but thank you so much for all of your comments okay inspiration so this one here is using that fabulous sunflower stencil and the sunflower wreath stamp. Now, all of these I will be posting on our Pinterest boards in the coming weeks. And um, a lot of them will be going up on Facebook as well. We've got loads and loads of inspiration to show you. I'm going to have a little look through this box as well here. So this is one of Barbara's using that lovely sunflower wreath stamp there. And I love this one. And um, this is going up actually on the page tomorrow. I've, I've uh, put a post up with this one. Bash. So that looks awesome too. Oh, no, I think the video's broken. There we go. It should have come back through, I think. Hopefully. Um, then we've got another one here. This is using that gorgeous sunflower panel. So this is going to be fabulous for your larger projects as well as your smaller ones. Sue's asking, can you pre-order the stencils? No, we're not doing pre-orders on the stencils. They will all go on sale on the 19th of March. And then I've got a box full. I've got more. I've, honestly, I've got so many finished samples. Like I'm, I'm panicking how I'm going to get all these to Peterborough. I don't know if I'll fit them all in my car. There's that many. And then look at this one. This is one of Becca's. So she's used that fabulous limited edition B stamp that you get with your box kit. And that beautiful petite poker um, stencil in the background with some texture paste. That looks awesome. Another one using that beautiful sunflower panel stamp. You can see how well that works as well. And we've got, let me have a look, there was one, there was a card in this box, I know, because I was looking through them the other day. This is fab too. This is such a quick and easy card to do, just using the stencil, popping your glitter over the top and wrapping a vellum wrapper on the middle. So quick and easy to do, but it looks fabulous. Now this card here, this, this is one of Becca's and this just looks awesome. So what she's done is she's used some high gloss black card, then she's used that fabulous Busy Bee set stencil over the top with some sparkle paste. Like how amazing does that look? Look at the bees on there, but look at the detail that you've got in the stencil as well and you're not losing any of the detail, which is fabulous. Becca's done some fabulous little um, home decor projects as well, so I'm loving these. Little hearts, I've got a little gift box as well. There's all sorts, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab another couple. This is gorgeous too. This is using that fabulous sunflower wreath and using the stencil in the background. So that's those samples there. And then I'll show you a few more from over here. So this is another one of Glynis's. So she's used that fabulous polka dot stencil using that sunflower wreath and creating that fabulous circle easel. And Glynis has written some of these up for me as well. So I'll be popping that on the blog very soon as well. Then this is one of Barbara's using that gorgeous sunflower panel stamp there in the middle along with the two stencils. You can see how well that works together. We have a little look through here using those flowers in the beautiful pinks as well it totally changes the look of them and then this one here using that beautiful large sunflower stamp as well you can see how well that works and then we've got let me just have a little flick through i'm trying to find a little bit of, oh this is this is really cool so barbara's used the little um stamp out of the sunflower collection and she, you can see how she's just started to build a background up with it as well so that works really well too and then this is one of Ruth's using that fabulous sunflower and uh, not sunflower the bee panel there sorry and another one using the stencils which looks fabulous and some lunar paste they work so so well 
and then this one here this is so pretty because it's quite it's nice subtle in the background this one so just using the torn on torn with this using different textures it works so so well so you can see how fabulous that then looks um i'm kind of i'm i've kind of just bombarded myself in with cards now <laughs> absolutely there's so many the sunflower wreath again there are just so many different ideas to be shown you and so many different ways that you can be using these as well they are absolutely fabulous you can see how just by changing the colors up you're going to be able to um to be using these in so many different ways so thank you so much for joining me tonight i will be live on create and craft on the 19th of March, starting at quarter past eight in the morning. If you have a look on our Facebook page, the show times are all on there. If not, check on the Create and Craft website. And I'm really excited to be showing you all of Box Kit 6. I've got loads of demos planned. I've got lots of things prepped. I've got so much, so much inspiration to show you, like even more than what I've shown you today. But don't worry, because I'm going to be posting all of the cards on the Pinterest to give you all of that inspiration. And of course, hop onto the website as well, because we'll be popping some cards on there and popping them onto the blog as well. So I really hope you'll be able to join me on the 19th of March. Of course, you can go and pre-order your box kit today if you want to. Or you can um, order everything on the, on the 19th of March if you want to as well. So I will see you all then, where we'll have all the new goodies. We'll have the glitters, the wow powders, the stamps, the stencils. So I really hope you'll be able to join me. And as well, please don't forget to join the Stamps by Chloe group as well on Facebook. We've got like, it's something like 7,500 members now. There are so many people in there. But it's such a friendly group. Everyone posts their makes. Everyone's so, so nice. And we share lots of tips and inspiration in there as well. So thank you so much and thank you for joining me tonight and i will see you all very soon bye